Today, we're going to be looking at this Arctic P14 Slim. Basically, the standard P14 fan has been on a diet and it's gone down to 16 millimeters thick instead of 27. The front of the bolt is pretty straightforward. You've got the manufacturer's name, a picture of the fan. You've got the PST mark at the top, zero decibel. And then you've got P14 Slim PWM PST, which is a pressure optimized 140 millimeter fan with PWM PST. And you've got that six year warranty. On the back of the box, you've got a QR code for an online manual, which is good. So it saves paperwork and saves the environment. You've also got a QR code for leaving feedback as well as technical support. And there's some specifications right at the bottom. So inside the box, all you've got is the fan, a plastic bag with eight screws, four long and four short, ideal for water coolers and then the case. It's nice to see that Arctic has actually listened to us and when they're supplying an odd sized fan, they are actually including screws with it so you can actually screw it into something. Okay, so let's have a look at the difference in the fans. We've got the slim fan here. This is the Bionics X version, which is slightly different than the straightforward P14, but we're currently using that on another device at the moment, so we can't really film it, but it's not far off similar as in size. You can see the thickness difference here. There you go. So one's 27, the other is 16 millimeters thick, so it saves a lot of room. Also, the standard Arctic... P14 only has five blades. And as you can see on here, there's definitely a few more than five. So you've got three, four, five, six, you've got seven blades on that instead. So they've increased the blade count. Now there is no rubber on the corners or anything like that at all. The blades aren't obviously as thick because the fan isn't as thick. Obviously it spins, it looks nice. It's got their logo in the center. On the side, you do have cutouts. Let's say you had a air cooler you're gonna to attach this to, and it needs to clip in halfway through the fans. You can do that on here. The back, pretty straightforward. You've got obviously their logo in the center, and then you've got the support beams there. One of the support beams got the cabling going through. The cabling is here it is PWM, which basically means that it can change the speed when you've got it plugged into the motherboard. So if the fan doesn't need to spin as fast, it won't spin as fast and so forth. And it's got a daisy chain connector on here. So you can connect up another fan if you so wish to it, which is pretty good. Or you can string three or four together, which is always good. So as we said, it's thinner than the traditional fan. So 16 millimeter instead of 27 on a standard P14 fan. Most fans are generally the same sort of depth within a millimeter or two. Uh, that's ideal for small form factor builds where you're short of space. Also, sometimes you can get, for example, cases where there isn't much room at the top to fit a water cooler. So it might be ideal to replace the fans on that. So you've got a little bit more room. You've got less vibration and everything like that, which is pretty good. You've got a limited six year warranty as well, which means improved service life and so forth. You've got that PST connector, so you can connect it up to your motherboard and it'll adjust the speed between 150 and 1800 RPM, which is really good. Also the actual motor and the, uh, uh, bearing inside is a high quality sleeve bearing so it's got the fan wheel lubricant steel shaft and precision bearing which is really good you've got a zero decibel mode which in reality zero decibel mode doesn't really mean that it's a silent fan it means that it's able to turn itself off if it doesn't need to actually work which to be honest in reality when you've got a fan running at a slow speed anyway you're really not going to hear it anyway but again it's a marketing thing and i suppose some senses it could potentially pro prolong the life uh, it's got uh, versatile use so you can use it for a case fan if you want in or you could obviously use it on a water cooler or something like that if you want in. but it is optimized for high static pressure so that means best using it on stuff like radiators and air coolers which is probably going to be the prime selling point for this if you have got obviously little room in there, just to give you a rough idea what the airflow is like. It is 52 centimeters, roughly. Uh, the pr static pressure is 1.55. The noise level is 0.3 stone. In all honesty, when we've got the fan on full, you can't really hear it. So the zero mode is 
well, it's good, but it's not really going to make much of a difference for the sound. So that's it, really. It's a, your standard 12 volt DC, and starting voltage is 4, and the current or the voltage is 0 0.19 amps. And the cable length is 40 centimeters or 400 millimeters, with an extra 80 millimeters uh, for the actual daisy chaining. So down to testing, we're testing this on an Intel i9-12900K processor, which can get really hot, and we're using a Arctic Liquid Freezer 2 cooler for comparison. So what we're using is a 280 mil version and sticking two of each fans on it, obviously 140 millimeters times two P14s, and then we do another test using the P14 Slim. Now, as you can see here, we've got 66 degrees on both of them. So there was no difference as the average score. The max temperature, there was a difference, but again, margin of error, really. 85 and 86 degrees with the standard P14 winning by that one degree. Again, all tests are run for 30 minutes using Cinebench. So it's basically a constant test. And we got the average and the maximum temperatures on a 12900K processor. So in reality, in conclusion, well, to be honest with you, cooling capacity is very, very similar. I'm actually quite surprised I was expecting the slim version to be, well, not as good. Those extra fins did actually do the job. Did you enjoy that video about the fan? Well, I did. If you're interested in looking at other Arctic products, and I know I am, click that box right up at that top corner there. Otherwise, if you want to see more videos about fans, then click on this one down here. And if you want to be a fan of ours, make sure you subscribe, give us a thumbs up, comment below, you know the drill, and we'll see you next time.